Hello, I'm Lee Morrison and welcome back to Bespoke Addict YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be uh, stretching the skins on these rather beautiful um, bespoke uh, shoes. They were made in 1933 by Paulson Scone in London. Um, to be fair, they, they don't need an enormous amount of stretch. The shoes do go on my feet, um, but they're just slightly uncomfortable, a little bit too small. It's more the length. Um, I could probably do with, I don't know, um, less than 10 millimeters of stretch and maybe just three or four millimeters in width. Um, there are many, many different uh, techniques to use for stretching and um, some of them are more aggressive than others. I've got a series of um, stretching tools here. Um, let's have a look, where should we start? Um, actually, this one isn't a stretching tool. This is a, um, this is a, it's a, it's a shoe tree. It's an adjustable shoe tree, but it's rather useful because it has an adjustable uh, thread here that expands the length with, on a brass thread. So that's, that's actually quite good. Even though it's, it's meant as a shoe shaper, like a tree, it can be used to force, force a little bit of uh, length. You can't get any width. So basically with this one, you would pop the tree inside nice and tight. Tighten up the laces and and what you, you've got to get access to the uh, to the threaded key you can't really get your fingers in but what you can do is use the tip of a screwdriver just to sort of force around just to force around the thread it's a very slow process you don't want it to be fast the um, if you go fast the skins will tear they'll t they'll tear here and here but um, this one works quite well just simply by uh, turning turning the thread slowly, slowly. It'll probably take as much as 10 minutes to, to expand this thread by five or six millimeters. I wouldn't recommend any more than that in one go. If you want to go more than say four or five millimeters, it would definitely take two sessions. Um, so we'll take this one out and I'll show you a couple more. So there's one. Uh, these are, these are old fashioned width stretchers. These are quite good. They only, they only do the width, um, not, they don't do any length. As you turn the crank, let me just show you, this starts to expand. Can you see the gap arriving here? Um, the, more, the more you turn the, the crank, so that's, oh, that's about 15, 20 millimeters. That's the enormous stretch. Um, that would rip the shoe in almost in half if you were to force that in one go, but same. You push, push the tree, in, in, not the tree, the stretcher into place. Tie the laces. It's important to keep them quite tight across here. And now, what these have a tendency to creep backwards because there's nothing in the heel of the shoe to stop that creeping backwards. So, quite a force. And I, I generally use two fingers, sort of my, my fists sort of gripped around the, the, the tongue and the lace area of the shoe. You hold that quite tight and then turn the crank. So, but bear in mind, you only get width. There's no length on this. So that one's quite easy. You can hear it start to click. Can you hear the leather creaking? Yeah. So I'm just demonstrating you the various techniques. This is obviously not stretching anything. I just want to show you the various techniques available. Um, now these, to be honest with you, these as a design, this theoretically stretches length and width. It's called a two-way stretcher. They're very difficult to find a traditional one in good, in good working order that's actually robust. These are sort of mass produced in the Far East and to be honest with you, they're absolute rubbish. Quality wise, they're complete rubbish. This thread here, um, it's plastic and it's broken. I've got at least 10 of these that uh, they just break, you know, it, it isn't man enough for the job, it's just not robust enough. The design's fantastic, but manufacture quality, totally rubbish. So ideally, as you turn this, turn this key on the end here, it forces the heel piece back, so that creates the length. Then we've also, we've also got width here. As you turn the crank on the end, that forces inside here a little cam that forces that open. So this one's not really gonna work because the, the, the thing's broken. And so I've got another one over here, that one's broken too. Um, it's an awful shame because that, this design is what I need. I need a little bit of width and I need a little bit of length, but it's broken. And 
they're very, very difficult to find a good quality one. These are about, they're less than £10, but to be honest, they're not worth £10, they're rubbish. Um, if you can find that design with a hard wood, because this once again is pine, it's very soft. If the plastic thread doesn't break, generally what happens is the piece on the heel just shears. Um, but if you can find a hard wood with a metal thread, that'll be absolutely fantastic. I've still not found one myself, but that does length and width in one go. So we'll put this one out of the way. And this one, there's another one exactly the same. It's completely broken, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I have another one of a similar design. I have another one of a similar design and I've modified this one. Um, it's got a piece of, uh, piece of copper piping with a couple of washers. Originally that was all plastic. Now to be fair, the thread's metal on this one, which I was rather excited about, but it's soon disintegrated and crumpled. So I've managed to replace that with metal and this one works a little bit better. Um, let me show you how, if I can get it in, I'll show you how it works. So laces need to be nice and tight. So, it's slightly different to get access uh, to the uh, to the thread, but so we turn this turn this key in here. Actually, I need to hold that tight. Yeah, very awkward. But as we turn the key in here, it gets tight and the length will stretch. And then I'll hold that key tight and turn the crank on the end to to achieve some more width. So. Yep, it's starting to creak. Can you hear the leather creaking? Yeah. Um, so that's, a, that's another method. Um, but once again, the, des the design's fantastic, but the quality is so poor. Um, I'm not going to be using this one today. There we go, get that one out of the way. Now I have to undo the laces quite a lot for this one. This is my favorite stretching tool. This one's truly fantastic. This is an old fashioned, I don't know where it's from. I, I found it purely by chance. And it wasn't working, it was all seized and I bought it cheap because it wasn't working. But this one, it can, it can expand lengthwise and it can expand, expand widthwise. And it's very, very hard wood. These are solid brass keys. So if I turn, turn this key here, you'll notice the toe start to flare. Is it going? Yeah. Slowly starting to flare out. And uh, here we go quite a lot now it's got about 10 millimeters there and uh, let's just unwind that and I'll uh, show you how the so that's nice and fixed on the length and turn this key and the length starts to expand quite dramatically it moves by up to about 25 or 30 millimeters um, so you can now get your fingers in here whereas that was totally solid before so um, yeah this is my favorite it's a very aggressive uh, stretch. It's easy to damage the shoes with these. The machine's that powerful. So let's just unwind this. Get it back to the smallest stage. Okay, a little bit more. I'm going to carefully, very carefully insert. It's easy to crush and split the heel. It does put a rather a stress on the tongue as well. So to fiddle it, wriggle it into place. Come on, that's it, it's in. It's very, very important to pull the laces tight. It does put quite a lot of stress on the, uh, on the tongue area. Pull the laces tight, tighten that up. There we go. Now, I'm going to start with a little bit of length. Um, you get to hear the leather creaking. It, 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 starts to, it starts to pop and crackle as it stretches, and you'll, you'll probably hear that in the microphone. So let's get that one out of the way. Okay. It's not doing anything just now, just taking up the slack. Here we go. It's now starting to pinch the leather and stretch and you'll hear the, you'll hear the crackles and the stretching of the skin. Yeah, there we go. It's really starting to stretch now. Yep, that's, that's enough. That's quite a lot. Then I'll just do a little bit of a little bit on the width here just by turning this key and you have to listen you have to you, by the sound of the skin the the, the, the creaking and the crackling you, you understand how much tension it's under there's no tension here no tension ah. tension starting to grab 
it's hic it's crackling. There we go. I think that's as much as I dare go on this. Um, that's a fantastic stretch, very rare, very hard to find, and um, I'm rather lucky to have it. I've never seen another. So let's take this one out. I'm actually not stretching, I'm sort of just setting them on the verge of stretching. The skins haven't been prepared for the stretch, and that'll be a separate video. I'll, um, I'm just introducing you to the idea of the stretch and the various methods here. And um, in, the, in the next video, of this, it was, this will be a series, I'll show you how to prepare the skins for the stretch and what to use. And um, let's just show you a couple more methods that are probably easier to, 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 to do at home without all of this kind of equipment. Squeeze that out very carefully. Yes, I've got, uh, I've got one more very uh, aggressive stretcher. This is solid, it's all solid steel. Um, uh, unfortunately, this is supposed to have various pieces for the end. It has like a ball that goes on the end, it clips on, and there's little holes here that various sort of shapers um, that they add space, you know, so you can, you can modify the toe. So let's have a look. Which way is it? That, no, wrong way. Uh, if I turn this key, this area will flare out. Here it comes. That's it. So you can see that that flares out inside the inside the shoe, and uh, the other key, this one here, this one adjusts the. Obviously, bear in mind that's squeezed tight into the toe. That that uh, increases the length of the heel. So um, it's a very aggressive stretcher. Um, it's easy to it's easy to cause damage with this one. So I'm not going to use it on these shoes. They only need such a small stretch. <coughs> Now another very good method, and um, this is a universal tree, um, it's easy, easily available, it's on a spring, um, it's nice fixed, very hard wood, and what I do is insert the tree, it's quite tight, quite tight, tighten up the laces. Very important to keep the uh, the tongs and the, the laces tied for this. I need a screwdriver, just a flat edge screwdriver, and some cutlery. Some of it's fallen on the floor. That's what that banging was earlier. Now, there's a, there's a gap here where the the, the tree can uh, expand and contract. Now, what we do force length. This can't really. It doesn't really increase the width but it, it, you can force extra length and um, you can really can force the skins. I use, um, so you use uh, the, the cutlery for packing the, uh, the gap there. So I'll just pop this screwdriver in and if you can see that, you can hear it creaking, you know. So yeah, increase the tension with the screwdriver and use a piece of this cutlery. I'm going to try the back of this knife here to, to fill the gaps block the gaps if you like um, as the uh, screwdriver takes the strain there we go there's one stop it returning Just push that a bit better i just curved i'm going to take one out and then use one with a flatter edge probably be easier there we go there's one and the screwdriver is out and the knife stops the uh, tree from returning so let's try and get another one in over here. Um, it's gone rather, it's gone rather crooked. You can see it's much further open, much further open this side than it is that side. So I'm going to force this this top area here. Try and get another knife in. It's quite, uh, it's quite tough. Come on, There's a lot of fiddling about. Here we go. That's it. So I've now got two knives in there and uh, what I generally do is use the blades of the knives to just create about a millimetre at a time. So a bit of force, come on, a bit of force, that's it, that one's in. And uh, no more knives, so I'll have to make do with the edge of a spoon. Just need, it won't fit in without the force of the screwdriver. So, 
Oh. It's quite hard work. There we go. There we go. So that's it. I wouldn't do any more than that in one go. Oop, that one's fallen out, but never mind, you get the idea. Um, could perhaps do with a slightly fatter screwdriver. Um, so that would be left, having the skin been prepared, it would be wet with the uh, stretching spray, which I'll show you in the next video. Leave that probably at least overnight to set and to, to, to dry off. Then pull out the, um, pull out the knives and take out the tree and, and try, try it on for size. Um, if it's only a small stretcher after say three or four millimeters, that will be fine. Um, if, if indeed you're after a much bigger stretch, you'll have to go through the whole process again. You can go through the process as many times as you like. I've stretched shoes with this particular method, um, probably as much as 15 or 20 millimeters in length, which is quite an enormous amount. It's certainly the thickness of a finger, but probably more. And that does include the soles. So let's pop these out. And uh, as I said, I just wanted to introduce you to the idea of stretching and uh, the many methods involved. We'll go through a series of films showing you correctly how to prepare the skins and um, what, you know, what methods I'm going to use. So um, I do hope you found this, uh, this introduction uh, useful. Um, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you find it useful and uh, subscribe to the Bespoke Addict YouTube channel. I'm Lee Morrison. Thank you for joining us and um, do enjoy the following series of films that will be stretching this particular pair of shoes. Thank you.